So here we have a 2017 Ford F-150. It has a five liter engine, but that's irrelevant. We're gonna do uh, front pads and rotors on this. And then we're gonna do the back, which I'm gonna redo because some people didn't like how I did the first video. So this is a non-electronic parking brake and how you can know is you don't have the switch inside. And when you look back here, you'll see there's no big black plastic housing on that that has an electric motor. So we're gonna do front and rear brakes. I went ahead and pulled the 21 millimeter lug nuts off the tire. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and collapse the pistons inside this dual piston caliper right here. And how I do that basically is I use a screwdriver. I come in on an angle and pull it back. The reason I'm doing this is these rotors don't look that bad, but they're actually shimmying when you go to try to stop. So that's, uh, that's kind of what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna go through that real quick. I normally just try to find like an old junkie screwdriver and I'll come in like this on the back side and I'll try to catch a spot in the front and I'll just real nice and easy just like this see that moved a little bit and then I'll go to the bottom I'm recording right now I would normally use two screwdrivers one on each side top and bottom see that right there okay it pulled some And now that I've got a little bit of room, I can go ahead and shove that caliper back and I can already feel these pins are a little tight because it's not one to shove back all the way. See how it's got a gap in there now? So what I'll do now is push the pad back, give myself a gap on the front of it, and then I'll use the pad to pry the rest of the way. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and press those in the rest of the way and then we'll go ahead and take these pins out and hook the caliper up to the hangers. Okay, so I just grabbed a 13 mil ratcheting wrench and on the passenger side, pull up, it'll pop. Take both these nuts out, or both these bolts out of the slide pins. Sometimes, depending on the kit you'll get, they'll give you new ones to go in there, but there's nothing wrong with reusing them. So, actually what I'm recording and not fully paying attention to what I'm doing. You leave the bottom bolt in a little bit because that's what helps hold the caliper while you try to break the top one loose. So thread that in a couple threads. Go back here. I'm trying to record on. Okay. Nice and easy there. So I'll go ahead and pull them out. And then uh, I'll get my hangers. Try not to make this video too long. So I'll pause it here. Okay, I just got a basic set of caliper hangers. I've, I just took the caliper off, hung the caliper up here. There's a little hole in the upper control arm, but anywhere, as long as there's no pressure on this. Some people let them hang because they're really durable. A lot of guys are against that stuff, which I get it, but that's where I hang them right there. This is a kind of a heavy, heavier one, but it's not super heavy. And then if you get to a point where you can't collapse those pistons in there all the way, they make a ratcheting tool that actually opens up and pushes those pistons in. And this I got for Cornwell, from Cornwell, but you can find these on Amazon. You can find these caliper hooks on Amazon. Um, but anyway, now I'm going to go ahead and pull the pads and everything off of here and work on taking these 21 millimeter bolts out here and here. Okay, warning, watch your ears. love this little thing it's a flexzilla half inch drive mini now i'm going to pull that out get that all cleaned up normally uh, if you don't have like a tool and stuff like i do to clean everything up you can just grab a file something like this clean up the slides but i'm actually going to use my my angle grinder with a disc clean all the stuff off of it i'll do all that and then be back Remember, all this shit is garbage. The, the clips and all this stuff that's in there, just throw it all away. So what I got is I got a little bit of a dry brush going on here, what I call, I cleaned everything off of it, and then I put anti-seize all over it, and then it kind of wiped it dry so nothing was just hanging off of it. And that's, that's all I'm gonna do for that. Now I'm gonna set the rotor over the face of this. Okay, I got the new rotor. Ford paints their rotors 
so you don't have to clean them off with brake clean. If you went aftermarket and you were doing this job, make sure you spray that rotor down if it's not painted. If it's got like a light film of oil, spray it down with brake clean all over it, clean it all off. The parts that we're using today are the front rotors are a JL3Z1125-B. The front pads are a AU2Z2V001B. Now I'm going to take this, put a little bit of dab, dab of Loctite, you can use red or you can use blue on those, uh, those bolts that anchor this back in there, these here. Uh, red is what's on the factory, but blue is sufficient, and I'm going to go ahead and put these all back in there and tighten them back down. So, I've got this all mounted back up, i got the mounting bolts back up here with Loctite on them, and uh, I went ahead and put the brake pads in, remember... This rounded side out here without these humps, that goes on the outside. And I put just a little light film of brake caliper grease here. I put a little brake caliper grease there, a little up there on all the slide points. And I also, a light film of grease on the back because even though there are anti-rattle, anti-squeak pads on there already, sometimes they still make noise. It's just best practice to do it this way. Then, you know, this right here, I'm gonna have to pull this slide pin out of here. I'll work it out until it comes out of that boot and then I'll clean that hole until it slides. It should be sliding like this one. You see it's not. It's all locked up. It doesn't even want to move. So I'll work on that. I'll get that cleaned up and freed up real quick. Well, as you can see here, that thing's pretty dirty. So I'm going to use some brake clean and trying to get it to focus. Use some brake clean, get all this stuff off of there, get all the rust out of there, clean the hole and stuff out, re-grease it back up with caliper slide pin grease and then put it all back together. This boot, you just gotta be careful and take a little screwdriver and just peel it off that lip right there. All they do is just basically push on the caliper and then push it onto this bolt, that's it. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this one-handed, but I don't know if it's gonna work, I may have to. So basically, you see, uh, you can see now it's moving real easy. That's how you want it to be moving, real, real easy like that. So now just set, set the caliper over. Sometimes those will come out some, your slide pins like here. See how it's kind of out some? Just push it in, it'll slide back over. And then take your nuts, put them back in there. I went ahead and pulled the top one too, cleaned that. It wasn't that bad, it's actually really clean. All I basically did was just re-lube it. And basically what I do with a re-lube it is I'll take a little screwdriver and I'll clean out inside the hole, blow it up, blow it out with some brake clean, maybe even some PB blaster, clean out that hole real good, brake clean it, dry it all out. And then after I've cleaned out the slide pin and stuff, you see how shiny it is, I kind of took it over to the wire wheel and cleaned all the rust of it off. I'll lube the pin up itself and I'll work it back in and out, in and out, in and out until it's real lubed. And that's it. Just push it basically right over the umbrella right here. And then uh, put your caliper caliper back on, tighten everything up, put your wheel on. 145 to 155 foot-pounds foot torque on the, the lug nuts. You're ready to roll, baby. Of course, with, uh, with doing this job, whenever you get back into the vehicle, before you even do anything, before you start it, pump the brakes up. They're going to go to the floor. Don't get in there and pu push the brake and then put it in reverse, and then all of a sudden you fly off and hit it. So pump it up until it feels solid, and then go. Anyway, that's the job, guys. That easy.